This is Neko July 2022 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 10 A, B and C. Question number 10 A says you have to copy and complete the following table and this table is for the relation y equals to x square minus 1. Range of values are given from minus 2 to 4 and some few values of y there are given when x is minus 2 y is 3. When x is 0, y is minus 1 like that. So it is values of y that are lacking or that are missing. It is those values that you need to find and complete this table. Question number B says use a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 1 cm to 1 unit on the y axis. We are required to draw the graphs of uh, the function y equals to x square minus 1 and linear function y equals to 2x plus 1. You have to draw these two graphs on the same axis. Then question number C says use those graphs that you have drawn in question number B to answer these two questions. Roman 1 says solve the equation x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. And Roman 2 asks you to find the list value of y equals to x squared minus 1. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Solution to this very problem, what you do first is answer in question number A that you are required to complete this table. Completing this table simply means finding those missing values of y like this value of y here is missing when x is minus 1. So to find the value of y, what you need to do, substitute this x by minus 1 in the given function for y. y equals to x squared minus 1. So if this x is now replaced by minus 1, so you now have minus 1 square, which gives you positive 1. Positive 1 minus this 1 will now give you 0 finally. So this value of y when x is minus 1 is now going to be 0, so you now write 0 there. Next missing value of y is here. So you now replace x by 1 in this function y equals to x squared minus 1. So x replaced by 1, you now have 1 square. 1 square is 1. 1 minus this very 1 gives the result to 0. So you now write 0 there. Now replace x by 2 to get the value of y here. So you now have 2 square, which gives you 4. 4 minus 1 in the area, you now have 3 as the value of y. This is what you do to complete the table. So last value of y is now when x is 3. So x3, you now have 3 square, which gives you 9, 9 minus 1, so you now have 8. So with this alone that you have answered question number E. Let's have a table for this linear function, y equals to 2x plus 1. Let me just have it here. So you now have uh, y equals to 2x plus 1, and you now have a table like this. You just pick some three values of x here is okay, is enough. So when x is now minus 2, you now find what is y using this function y equals to 2x plus 1. So replacing x by minus 2, you now have 2 times minus 2, which gives you minus 4. Minus 4 plus 1, in the area you now have minus 3. So you now find what will be y if x is 0. Replacing x by 0 here, you have 2 times 0, which gives you 0 plus 1. So in the area you have y as 1. Now replace the x by 4, so you have 2 times 4, 8, 8 plus 1. So y will now be 9. This is the table for this function y equals to 2x plus 1. So let's move and draw these graphs. We now bring our graph sheet paper like this. What we do first, we now draw the x-axis and number it. Draw the y-axis and number it. Scale is given. On the x-axis, the scale that you are going to use is 2 cm for 1 unit on x-axis. So let me just draw my x-axis. This is my x-axis, so you can have 0 here, from this 0 to 1 it is 2 centimeters, 1 to 2 is 2 centimeters, 2 to 3 is 2 centimeters, 3 to 4 is 2 centimeters, this is the scale asked to use 2 centimeters for 1 unit. I similarly, I did the same to the negative part of the x-axis. So next is to draw the vertical axis, that is the y-axis, the scale asked to use is 1 cm 1 unit. Let me draw my y-axis to pass through x-axis at this 0. So my y-axis will now be like this. This is 0 on the y-axis. So I use 2 cm that I have 2 units, which means each 1 cm will now be 1 unit. From 2 to 4 is another 2 cm. So you can see 2 to 4 is 2 units, so you have 2 cm. 
it did the same to the negative part of the y axis so having drawn our graphs and the number it what you do next is to go back to this very table for the function y equals to x square minus one you now mark those values of x and the value of y that correspond so when x is minus the two y is a three so you now mark the position of this x minus two y three so x minus two y three this is x minus two and uh, somewhere here will be your y three so where the two lines crosses this very point look at it will now be x minus two y three so i'll make a small cross there or a small cycle or a small dot look at it down here is x is minus two if you move to the right, this position here exactly is y3. So you now move to the next point when x is minus 1, y is 0. x minus 1, y is 0 will now be on this x axis at exactly this very position. So I also make uh, a small cross there. Look at it. Look at it. So next point is x0, y minus 1. x0, y minus 1 will be exactly here on the y axis minus one there but x is zero so you make a small cross there look at it so next is x1 y zero x1 y zero so it will be on the x axis at one so the value of y there will be zero so you make a small mark there too and you mark the rest like that x2 y3 will be here x3 y8 will be here x4 y y15 will now be here this are the points i have there so next you now take your broomstick or your french cup to draw a smooth curve to join or to pass through all the points it's good you have very smooth curve that will help you to get accurate answers so the curve is now going to be like this look at it it will now pass through all the points so that question number b what remains is the drawing of the second graph, which is y equals to 2x plus 1, which you will have it is stable like this. So I will now mark also the points there when x is minus 2, y is minus 3. Let me start x minus 2, y minus 3 will now be somewhere below here. Let me make a mark, look at it. So next point is x0, y1. x0, y1 will be somewhere here, look at it here this very point on the y axis it will now be x0 y1 i make a small mark there too last point is x4 y9 x is 4 y9 will be somewhere here look at it x down is x4 move left you have y9 so you make a small mark there too so these are the three points that you now take your long ruler and join all the three so let me just use my long ruler to draw that line like this. So question number B has been answered. So you now move to question number C. Question number C asked to answer questions from your graph. So starting with the Roman one, you asked to find the, the solution of this function x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. Let me just copy it. Look at the right hand side of course is quadratic equation and uh, in the question i don't have this quadratic equation exactly so what you now do you try to modify this left hand side so that it look exactly like uh, the right hand side of this uh, quadratic that you have drawn that is x square minus one so i would like to make this left hand side uh, x square minus one so i'm going to have x square minus 2x minus 2 what i have originally I have introduced this plus 2x plus 1 to the left. So I also introduced it to the right hand side as well. So simplifying the left hand side, minus 2x plus 2x will now cancel. Minus 2 plus 1, you will now have minus 1. So in the area, you now have by the left hand side x square minus 1 equals to by the right hand side 0 plus 2x plus 1 is now 2x plus 1. So look at this critically. You can see the left hand side is the curve that you have drawn that is the quadratic that you have drawn x square minus one and looking at the right hand side is exactly the linear that you have drawn so the solution to this very equation would now be the value of x at the positions where the curve and the line crosses each other 
that is this very point and the value of x at this very point that will give you the solution to this uh, to this very equation so let me get the values there so starting with this very one look at it look at it here you now estimate the value of x what will now be x here the value of x will now be minus 0 0.7 then the second value of x is now this is 2 this will be 2.5 so next is another two small divisions there so it is now going to be x equals to 2.7 so these are the two solutions to this very equation so roman one has now been answered so last is roman two we asked to find the least value of the curve y equals to x square minus one so where this curve turns up the value of y there would now be the least value and it turns here at minus one exactly. So the value of y that is minimum in this curve or from this curve is now y equals to minus one. So this answered all the questions there. So let me just share with you the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is bonus two marks, and this bonus two marks is completing this very table for the function y equals to x square minus one correctly. You have this bonus two marks, and if any of them is correct, minus have a mark for each wrong one. The next mark is another bonus one mark is for making this table for the function y equals to two x plus one. Also here for any wrong entry, any wrong value of y that is calculated wrongly. It is now going to be minus half a mark. Next mark is bonus three marks, and this bonus three marks is for plotting the values in this very table and joining them correctly. You have this bonus three marks for any wrong one. It is now going to be minus half a mark. Next mark is bonus one mark, and this bonus one mark is for plotting the values here in this table for the linear graph. And joining them using this long ruler accurately and have this straight line, you have this bonus one mark. Next mark is method one mark, and this method one mark is for attempting to read from your graph the value of x at the point of intersection of the curve and the straight line. Reading those values of x at those points, you now have this method one mark, and when you now read accurately, the solution of uh, that uh, very equation and you have x equals to minus 0 0.7 you have this accuracy one mark there is no problem having minus 0 0.6 or minus 0 0.8 that is plus or minus 0 0.1 is allowed and similarly the second root or the second solution you have x equals to 2.7 correctly it enables you to get this accuracy one mark. There is no problem having 2.6 or 2.8. So if I move to the last mark, is uh, reading the, the minimum value of y from your graph. That is where the curve turns up. So you have this method one mark. And when you now read it accurately and you have y equals to minus 0 0.1, you have this accuracy one mark. You still have the same accuracy mark if you have uh, minus 0 0.9 or you have minus 1.1 so in total this question has 12 good marks